What is good judgment and how can you measure it? Hi, I'm Ron with LeadSkill. We help leaders and their teams go further with emotional intelligence. So I want to start off from the beginning and just acknowledge this is not a theoretical question. What is good judgment? In fact, it comes up a lot more often than you might realize. Naval Ravikant, an entrepreneur and investor, recently uh, gave his insights about hard work versus good judgment. And in his opinion, both are important, but good judgment is clearly more desirable, all else being equal. Point is, this question comes up a lot more than you might think. So here's an example. In a hiring situation, the question in a behavioral interviewing uh, scenario might be something like, so tell me about a time when you exercise good judgment. Sounds reasonable, right? How should you answer that question? My advice is to share an example, a recent one if you can, when you solved a problem, especially one that required a little more thought and you considered different perspectives in trying to solve the problem. Here's what I mean, and I'll speak from personal experience. As a leader in business, I have to sell. And I also receive sales calls or emails frequently from people selling to me. And it is quite a turnoff to get a hard sell sort of cold call, especially when they know absolutely nothing about my business or about me. Now, I would say that's an example of poor judgment. So it's better, in my opinion, to know at least a little something about a person that I'm approaching. And even better if you just take that extra effort to find out something current about their business, about their situation, and why what you are trying to sell them is potentially good for them or a good fit. I gave up hard sell cold calling early on in my consulting career when I realized two things. One is it's just hard grind. But second of all, it's actually counterproductive. It's not portraying what I want to convey about my company or about our brand. And it just doesn't put me in a, a good enough profile whenever I'm approaching decision makers. To me, that's an example of me learning and gaining good judgment, or at least better judgment. Now, if I were interviewing for a sales job today, and I were asked this question, tell me about a time when you exercise good judgment, I would use this example that I just shared with you and say something like, well, I would say good judgment is taking the time to learn a little bit about my prospect, and then when I contact them, giving them a couple of options about why I think that we might have a potential fit and then where we could go from here. And I'm actually okay whether they say yes or no because I'm not trying to do a hard sell. I really want it to be a win-win and I want to create value in the process. And to me, that will convey something better about my brand and it also is not so daunting. It's not something that's like just a hard slog to get through a certain number, X number of calls or whatever. It's actually something where I look forward to it and I see selling as an opportunity to just start the consulting before I'm actually paid to do the consulting. And so that's good judgment in my opinion. Well, what is good judgment? We've used the word a couple of times, but we haven't really looked into it much deeper than that besides giving an example. So I want leaders, particularly who might be using that interview question, to think deeper about what they have in mind or what they mean by good judgment. And I think when we look into a little bit further, there's a couple of things that become clear. When you have good judgment, you have clarity. You have clarity about the situation, about yourself, and you're in a better place to make a choice or to make a decision. So one question to consider is, do you come at an issue from one perspective? Or are you able to see multiple dimensions? 
are you able to see different parts of the issue? Because that multi-dimensional view, to me, is a key part of good judgment. Another part of it is, can you see the whole? Do you have a sense of what's relevant within all the many details of a complex situation? That's another aspect of good judgment. And then finally, do you, are you able to stay clear about what is good and what's better and what's a bad option in, in weighing through the different choices? Because good judgment is about not taking a path that is less than optimal or that is not going to get you where you want to go. Good judgment picks up on what is relevant and it separates signal from noise. And I think that's really an important aspect of demonstrating good judgment. So how can you actually measure good judgment? There's a couple of ways that come to mind. One is just by seeing the consequences or the results of making decisions or making choices. So over time, we all develop a track record and you can see from a person's results whether they have good judgment. So the difficulty is like the scenario that I gave where there's a hiring situation. You will only know if the person has good judgment after the fact, after you've already hired them and they might actually um, do some damage or it might be a high risk sort of situation. So what can you do in those um, scenarios? Well, you can ask questions and see if the person actually responds and demonstrates good judgment, a considered a, you know, approach in how they uh, talk and how they think. You can also give people exercises. And so this is a place where like a, an assessment, a work product can actually help you to see if a person has the goods, whether they can actually demonstrate good judgment. So one of those assessments that I will mention is the Hartman Value Profile, or the, a modern version of it's called the Acumen Capacity Index, e either one of those, HVP or ACI. If you're curious about those, you can check out the links down below, and I've got more details about that on my website. So um, this particular assessment takes only 15 minutes or so to complete, and as a result of it, you get a full, rich picture of many different aspects and dimensions of a person's value judgment and whether or not they demonstrate pretty good, fair, average, or poor judgment in different situations, in looking out at the world, how they consider themselves, how they solve problems, um, how they react, their attitude, their emotional bias. There's just a lot of uh, different parts, moving parts of this that go into helping us get a really rich view of what good judgment is. So I'm glad you watched the video. I hope it's been helpful. If you're one of those people in a situation where you're seeking a job and you're asked the question, uh, give me an example of a time you demonstrated good judgment. Hope you'll think about something recently where you were able to solve a problem and hopefully you consider different perspectives. You took a more thoughtful and a considered approach to it. And you can demonstrate that you do in fact have good judgment. You've thought, you've weighed or balanced out short-term versus long-term view and considered different people's perspectives in it. And if you're a leader, I want you to go deeper and think about what good judgment actually means and what you're looking for when you might be asking that question of others as well as what sort of standard you're holding for yourself and whether or not you really have good judgment. My experience is a lot of leaders have a much higher opinion of themselves than is warranted. And it really helps to get an objective and outside view and then get to work on some of your gaps and your blind spots because we all have them, but we don't all acknowledge them. So hope it's been helpful. Subscribe to our channel. If you want more information, go to leadskill.com and you can check out Acumen or the Hartman Value Profile. Those are both uh, a great way to take this uh, idea of good judgment the next step. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.